Hey everybody! Welcome back to Oprah playing Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. So in the last episode we uh, figured out where the next Crystal Star is, it's in the Boggly Woods, but we're gonna do some stuff in Rogueport first. I have three Shine Sprites, which is the amount I need in order to upgrade my partner, so let's see what that does. Hey Merlin, what's up? Welcome to the home of Merlin, the Super Magician. I foresaw your arrival. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Let's go with Coops, he's prob probably... Shall I power up this partner? Actually, no, I'm actually going to go with Goombella because she is actually being more useful than Coops at the moment. Because she can actually attack enemies in the air. Shazibi! Shazibi! Ooh, look, we're in space, how did that happen? I'm surprised I can breathe. I mean, he is a magician. Maybe they can't sp so just magically warp them in the space. Then you may go. And that's all. So now she has more health as well as more attack power. So she actually has more health than me at the moment. But yeah, that's totally awesome. Anyway, Luigi, what are you doing here? Well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a coinky dinky. Eh? Who? Oh, me? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue the Princess Iclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene. Alright, she's been kidnapped by the evil chestnut the king. If you got to know, I met with us at the Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was a pretty crazy, bro. Wanna hear what happened? Not right now, no. Oh really? You're lost, bro. Maybe it'll... Maybe I'll tell you about it some other time, huh? Yeah, so, um, we're gonna be seeing him with different characters after every chapter. So that'll be interesting, won't it? Um, so I could go down the pipe, but I, like I said, I'm gonna explore Rogueport a little bit first. The first thing being, you remember this lady over here? Because she really wants her uh, her contact back. It should be available now, but let me talk to this guy first. Hey, hey, ho, yo! I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. You've got the feathered look of a man with a mind for goods. Wanna buy something? Okay, so he has a number of things, but they're all really expensive. But he doesn't have what I want right now, so I will come back later and save my money. What? No more shopping? Sorry to hear that, my man. This is a limited time offer. I change the goods I offer from time to time, so come back real soon, alright? I didn't understand, Mint you man. Anyway, this guy from the shop is out here. Hey, valued customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Cool. <laughs> Tiny is in comparison to everything else. I'm gonna need 10 coins for that contact lens. Wanna buy it, fella? And now I have two shop points, so that's great. Let me go give the contact lens to her. Over here. Did you bring my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? Here you go. A contact lens. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. So she may have mentioned before, but she is actually a cook. I'm going to try cooking up some random stuff and see what she makes of it. Oh. So it's you again, huh, Mr. Stompalot? Well, my name is Zesty. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me some ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and, and culinary magic happens. Want me to whip up something up for you right now? What ingredients would you like me to cook with? I have a number of things, but I think I'll just start off with a simple mushroom. Okay, I'll cook with your mushroom. I'm gonna mix these up for you, so just wait a sec. 
Doodly doo dun, doodly day. She doesn't sing that Chola Lo song like uh, the other one did. I forgot her name already. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but. Go on, take it, Stompy. You got a shroom fry, a tasty dish made by Zesty, replenishes 6 HP and 2 FP. Anytime you feel like it, feel free to bring me stuff to cook with, okay? Is there anything else that she has? There's a life shroom, mushroom, honey syrup. I can try cooking up the honey syrup. I don't believe there's anything else in there that really looks like it's supposed to be food ingredients. So let me try the honey syrup just because I don't know if what it's gonna make. Okay, I'll cook, cook up your honey syrup. Yep. What's it gonna make? Zippity doo da, zippity a. So I think if it's a flame. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but go on. Okay, I got a fresh juice. Refills 5 FP and cures poison. Anytime you feel like it, feel free to bring me stuff to cook with. Yeah, so now I actually have recipes. So now there's a whole tray full of uh, other stuff I can cook here. So now there's uh, another place where anything I make is going to be stored up there, so that's good. Anyway, we've never been to this part of Roadport, so let's check it out. Got some people hiding away, P quite possibly. Who's this guy? Ah! How refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Roadport. How intriguing. I could swear. Yep, there it is. So there's a lot of stuff here, isn't there? Um, I feel I think there's another one back here. Yep, I, I'm good. There, this looks like a wall that I can crack open with a bomb, but not right now. Let me talk to the people outside first. Happy lucky lottery ward! Bawam lottery rules. Jackpot. All numbers match. Second prize. Three numbers match. Two, one, whatever. Today's winning number is 4187. Are you a winner? I don't have a lottery ticket. Dum da 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 dum dum do. Every day is a lucky day with happy lucky lottery. With new numbers every day, this lottery is fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Yeah, sure. That's the way. Happy Lucky Lottery is so special. You pick numbers, they might win each day. Just buy your numbers here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on this board to see if your number has come in. If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your Nintendo GameCube clock. So go ahead, buy a number, only 10 coins for new customers. Who wouldn't buy one for 10 coins? Yeah, sure, I'm in. I've never won, like, anything because I never bother to check back every single day. Oh, happy. Thank you. Here's your number. You got a lottery pick. You can use the same number until you win the jackpot. Play lucky and happy. Go ahead and check the board right now to see if you've won. I think I already did check it. It wasn't a winner. Not even close. Sorry, it's an unlucky day. No matches for you today. But every day brings a new chance. So try again, okay? Here's a consolation prize. Well, at least I get something for, uh, just for participating, so that's, uh, enforcing good values right there, isn't it? Wow, this town may be full of rogues and punks, but this part sure feels safe. Don Pianta does such a good job of managing things, I feel totally safe shopping here. Got some random people's houses. I don't think I care enough to actually talk to them, but whatever. Yeah, you're just a Koopa. Don't care. Let me out. 
Is there something back there, or is it just for decoration? There's a blue toad up there. Whatever, toads are nothing special either. If anybody ever wants me to talk to them, I will, but right now I'm not at all planning. Hey, I found another star piece. I was wondering if there was one hidden back there. So this is a Pianta. If you played Super Mario Sunshine, you recognize these characters. I'm probably going to end up playing that game sometime in the future as well, but not now. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. I can't do a New York gangster accent. I just can't. I'm not even gonna bother. So this place is interesting. What you got? Hey, how you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. Was that now? You wanna know how to get a member's card, do ya? Well, let's see. Maybe if it helps someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. You have no piantas, get some piantas first. Psst, this place is run by Don Pianta. You can play fun games in here and win pianta tokens to redeem for prizes. Yeah, play to win and get those prizes. Okay, whatever you say. I am the pianta changer changing machine. I am called pianta changer. I exchange one pianta for three coins. Want to exchange? Sure. Whatever. Let's play one game. I got two matches. And well, I got nothing out of that, so that's three coins wasted. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario. Like, the one and only. I know all about you. Ice cream Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So, what can I show you? Can't trade in the piantas you've won pr for prizes. And some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. So there are some badges. Super appeal, refund. It's pretty useful. That's 34 piantas. I don't have that kind of money. And cake mix as well, so that's a good place to buy it. Well, let me buy some more, actually. I have money. There, that's close enough. So I need six, actually, whatever. I guess there's two machines here. Nope. Nope. I'm really good at getting the two piantas on the side. Well, <laughs> I tend to get the same pattern every time. This is a scoreboard. I haven't done any of these games yet. And I'm not going to yet, either. Meanwhile... This is just a shop over here. I don't really care about buying any of these items, to be honest. Yeah, I don't, I don't even have the ability to hold them right now, so let's not bother. And yes, that was a boo actually there. I haven't seen what's back here yet. Oh, so we got a blimp and a train. This blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. I'm awfully sorry, but you must have a ticket to board the blimp. No free tours today. Same thing with the train over here. It looks all fancy. Hey, it's a uh, like to. I'll tell you, I like gazing. I like standing and gazing at the train more than I would like riding it. Because if I were to ride, I wouldn't get to see how cool its main engine looks. Yeah, looking at it's better, but I wish I could just afford a ticket. I might ride it once. This train is bound for luxurious poshly heights. Will you be boarding today? Sure, yeah. If you don't mind, let me check your ticket. I'm sorry, but only ticketed passengers are allowed on the train. Security measures. Well, no crap. So there's a blimp and a train over here, but I can't go on either because I need tickets for both, pretty much. 
There's also another area down here. You notice there's a grate. Well, I can turn into this. Well, isn't this lovely then? I can't exactly get over there, but there's a new enemy down there. See if I can avoid it for now, though. Let's see, if, see if I can go over here. This place is special. Can I go back here? There's another star piece. That's really nice, isn't it? It doesn't seem to open. That's unfortunate. Say, I've never seen your face found these parts. Who are you? Huh, I get it. You're a wanted man above ground and you can't see be seen in town, eh? Huh? No? Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm giving the worst British accents to people. I remember uh, when this game was first being released and Nintendo had a website just for this game and pretty much this room was like one of the pages where you can click on stuff and open up the chests. I'm feeling nostalgic for a website. That's really strange. You got the soft stomp. Execute superbly to make enemies soft. And I move really slowly in the water. Oh, and there's the badge guy again. You see where we are now. We're basically on the other side of the wall, but I can't crack it open. Ah! There's another guy down here, but I'm going to ignore him. There's another section. Nope, no piece of heart for you. So what's in here then? What's in here? Bunch of people, don't really care. I'm not gonna talk to any of them. Except for maybe this guy, hello. Howdy! My name's a Wonky, and I just know stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You'd better believe it. And who knows, the stuff I know may even be stuff that could help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. I don't care. Probably something that I can read off screen, but not right now. I'm in the middle of exploring. Oh my, so uh... Got some gold bars to buy, gem and jelly, ultra shroom. You can buy the really good stuff down here. But I can't really afford any of it, nor do I care. Uh, hi there. Welcome to the Deep Down Depot. What can I do for you? Uh, pretty much nothing. So basically, that's what's down here. There's other stuff I want to explore in the sewers first. Yeah, I can't go through that door. That's unfortunate, but whatever. So there is, in fact... A safe block here, as well as a pipe. That will just lead back to the surface. I'll do it later, but for now. And that's pretty much all I can do right now. There's new enemies, and I'm pretty much trapped. So I'm gonna, I mean, I think I'm gonna show off this new enemy, but I'm gonna see if I can get the first strike right there. There we go. Wait, did that not work properly? What the hell was that? I could swear it was a good thing, but apparently not. Anyway, let's do a tattle on one of these guys. Since it's a new enemy and we can't see its health. That's a Spania. A Spania with spikes on its head. It looks meaner, too. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0, so sort of the same as a Spinia. You ought to watch out for those spikes on its head, but otherwise just wail on it. I gotta be honest though, the way that thing spins makes me want to yak. Well, I can still, uh, do this just the same. Because I apparently don't know how to attack it properly, let me try one more time with the hammer. Yeah, there we go. I just wasn't doing it properly the first two times. Whoops, I, I accidentally hit the the pop filter. Hopefully it didn't make too much noise. I pressed it way too early that time. But let me try using this, the Earth Tremor again. I won't talk during this and see if I can just get the, the stars. Hmm. 
No, I missed one. Because there gets to be more stars and it lasts longer, so it's like harder to get. But I did five damage to each enemy, so that's pretty good. I was very close to actually making it get all the way to the ceiling. So there's a shine sprite up there as well as like a door, a pipe, and a block for me to hit, but I can't get up there at all because I can't cross this gap unfortunately. I'm guessing the pipe back there will lead to the background. Whoops, I did not mean to jump on him. That was stupid. My bad. Power smash. Because I can. Nope, I didn't get the super stylish. Oh, of course. <laughs> well, he did get hurt, so I guess I can't complain too much there. Yeah, so I got some star points for that battle. And I guess I will go ahead and uh, finish off my exploration of more of Rogueport. I, d I didn't want to talk to everybody, that would take too long, and most people don't really care at all. For the most part, I think I remember who ha actually has something interesting to say. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. So thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time when we actually will go find the pipe to the Bogley Woods, which is going to be in this next area over here. So see you then.